What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your Galaxy S4. What you have to do is 1. You must root your device. 2. You have to install Synet application. I'm going to find it to you here. You must install this application and you must download and flash a custom kernel. All the instructions can be found at the descri description of this video. So just check it out. You must have a custom kernel. Now go to sign up application. Of course you need root access. Here it is, CPU. As you can see, this is the current uh, CPU right now, the current scale. Which is, uh, changes of oh, my groups are ready. Oh, not now. So this is the CPU right now. As you can see, A7 and A15 cores are in action. CPU max. Here you can overclock or underclock your CPU scale 1.4 GHz, which is 1400 1, MHz is the stock. You can raise it up, up to 1.6 GHz. Or you can underclock it, but I wouldn't touch it anyway. Of course we're talking about the A15 cores. If you want to overclock your A7 cores, this is it. A7 maximum. Actually, I wouldn't touch it. Uh, if you uh, if you overclock your A7 cores up to 1.2 GHz, uh, you may have a serious battery drain. So I wouldn't touch it anyway. You see, you can raise it up to 1.5 GHz. The stock is 1.2 GHz. CPU minimum. This is the minimum your CPU uh, can be when the device in in deep sleep. You can change it. Of course, I don't uh, see reason why someone would like to over uh, overclock this. Uh, but of course, you can uh, down. 200 megahertz make the device freeze sometimes, so I don't know if I uh, would touch it. Okay, CPU vote. If you want to overvote or undervote your Galaxy S4, you can just do it there. As you can see. Every scale has a different has a different volt. It, it gains different volt from the device. So you just can overvolt or undervolt. You can do whatever you want here, but be careful. These settings are very dangerous. So if you don't know what I'm, you're doing, I wouldn't touch it anyway. Oh, of course, this is the control of the B cores, A6, A15, and A7. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't play with it. I really don't know how many battery you can save with these settings. I think uh, applications uh, make serious battery drain than this one. Okay, so now let's go to the GPU. As you can see, the same thing, the same idea. You can overclock or under uh, underclock your CPU, uh, GPU. Sorry. You can raise it up to seven uh, seven hundred. Megahertz, but I don't think it's stable. I think um, 614 is the most stable we have. I mean, 700 just uh, it, it can make your phone freeze and reboot. And the same idea is here you can over overvote or undervote um, the GPU scale. And again, if you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't touch it. And uh, oh, wake clocks. Here you can disable a lot of wake clocks if you want to gain more battery. I've disabled almost everything. I mean, I don't see any. Uh, I don't see any change right now. But uh, I'm gonna wait. Thanks for watching.